Plymouth, the largest municipality in Massachusetts by area, is made up of many communities and villages. This week, PAC-TV Community News takes you to West Plymouth to meet the Community Steering Committee, learn about this special village and its future plans. Call a meeting to order. We are the eyes and ears of the Planning Board. Um, we're appointed by the Planning Board. We are only as effective as the Planning Board makes us. If the Planning Board pays attention to us, then we're very effective. If the Planning Board didn't pay attention to us, we wouldn't be effective. Fortunately for us, the, uh, the Planning Board pays a lot of attention to the various steering committees around Plymouth. Our role as a committee primarily is to meet with developers, listen to their proposals, and make suggestions to lessen the impact on abutting residential properties. It's an opportunity for local residents to truly get in at the ground level on anything that's going on from a developer standpoint. Once uh, we hear a developer want to come in, they come before us, and then as a committee we vote, and if it's favorable or not favorable, actually, either way, uh, the secretary sends the report to the planning board, and then they review, and sometimes they accept our recommendation, and sometimes they don't. One of the main issues that has shaped West Plymouth has been the tremendous amount of development along Commerce Way. So far, this has been well planned and has not had an impact on surrounding residential properties. We hope this continues. Of course, right now, the big thing about uh, the dirt and everything is over on Route 80 because of the stalemate, as you may. I don't know. When, I hope it gets ended and we get going on putting some buildings in there for tax dollar purposes. We have a formal role and, a, and an informal role. The formal role is to make a report to the, uh, the planning board. The informal side of things is that when developers come up against and present to the, um, the, the planning board and the zoning board of appeals, um, if we have issues with what, with what are going on, we can still get up at the public discussion time and present the, uh, the issues and the solutions uh, that we feel are in the best interest of the, uh, the citizens of West Plymouth. Uh, also, we try to preserve as much green space as possible, which is a precious commodity in West Plymouth. <laughs> The amount of land available for development outside of the industrial park is, is rapidly shrinking in West Plymouth. Uh, now that Colony Place is in, now that um, High Rock Cranberry Crescent has come in with uh, their property, uh, I think that the focus of the West Plymouth Steering Committee over the next, um, uh, over the coming decade is going to be to try and, and work with people to maximize the livability in, in West Plymouth and to, uh, to also uh, work to look at things such as um, the impact of uh, development on the, uh, the wells and so forth in, in West Plymouth. It's good that people are raising the, uh, the question and the West Plymouth Steering Committee is, is interested in, in gathering facts and understanding what's going on in, in that area. The changes I see, as I say, there is not much open space left will be um, the continuation of development along Commerce Way. Our committee is working on a plan to maximize the space that is there, maximize the amount of green space, and encourage quality business. It's a seven-person committee here. We meet here the uh, third Wednesday of every month at 7 o'clock. It, it's strictly a case of hearing the people, and from time to time we have members of the community come to our meetings, especially if they have a problem they want to address to our committee. I think we accomplish a lot. We work as a team, really, and it sort of worked out pretty good.